Welcome to MMO Store Raiders. Every episode we investigate MMO cash shops and in-game stores to answer the only question that matters. Is it dirty? We look for stinky pay-to-win crumbs and smelly RNG boxes that leave stains all over the game. Enjoy the show. Here's your host, GRM Adrian. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, it's GRM Adrian here. Welcome back to my channel. This is episode 2 of MMO Store Raiders and here we are in the Elder Scrolls Online. I'm here to see and investigate if the ESO Crown Store, which is the in-game cash shop, has anything dirty. And you already should know what that means by now. I'm looking for pay to win items, any advantages, uh, you know, weapons or gear they're selling to players directly from the store. Are there any RNG loot boxes and stuff? And if you haven't seen um, episode 1 where I checked out Star Wars The Old Republic's cartel market, then you can click the video links. I have it up on in the information box. I have it down in the description box as well. So go ahead and check that out. But today we are looking at ESO. So let's get straight into it. What am I going to find? So the first thing I look for when I'm checking out a in-game cash shop is, you know, it, how obnoxious is it? Is it in your face? And the login screen is pretty clean. There's no ESO Crown Store logos plastered around. It's none, there's nothing flashy here directing you to the store. Unlike some games, they have it on their login screen. It's good to see ESO doesn't. So let's go ahead and jump in and jump into the store. Alrighty, so here we are in-game on my brand new alt on the EU server. Wow, I'm quite surprised at the ping though. Ping rate's 411. That's actually worse than when I was on uh, the North American server. I'm <laughs> not sure what's going on here. Anyway, let's get to the store. This is the default UI. You don't see anything Crown Store related here. And the only way to get that to show is if you hit the Alt button. That brings up your uh, inventory and your character sheet. And at the top, you'll see a whole bunch of new icons appearing in the game. And the first one up here is your uh, Crown Balance. Crowns are your in-game uh, store currency that you can use to buy stuff from the store. I've got 9,500. That's weird. Uh, the 9,000 I know, that's from my 6-month subscription. But where did the 500 come from? That's interesting. Probably from the Imperial Edition. I can't remember. But anyway, we've got two icons here before you get onto the in-game stuff. And the two, the first one is the Crown Store. And the second one is Crown Crates. Alright, let's go ahead and open the Crown Store and check the store out. So here we are. The design is very minimal. The theme, the colors, everything suits the, the, the base UI just fine. Let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, options on the left here. So under Featured, these are what the Crown Store is featuring for the current period. We have, what is this, Thieves Guild Collector's Bundle, 11 days left. You've got a Camel Mount. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nice. You're going to get Crown Experience Scroll. This adds 50% XP for 2 hours. You got the Thieves Guild. You can get the DLC in this pack. And a dragon spit pet. That's pretty cute. And all this for a discounted price of 2,000 crowns. 11 days left. Not bad under the feature. They do give you some good stuff. I remember a couple of weeks ago, the featured bundle here was all the four DLCs for 5,500 crowns. Now, just to give you guys some context in terms of is it worth it, if you're a subscriber, every month you're going to get 1,500 crowns. That's every month. Uh, and for me, Malaysia, that's going to cost me 54 Malaysian or 58 Malaysian ringgit a month. And that's 1,500 crowns. So in uh, two months, you can start buying bundles like this. 2,000, it ain't bad, to be honest. And below this, we have the crates. Now, this is interesting. Crates are the game's RNG boxes, I suppose. But I've never really bought one, so I don't know what's in it. You can buy 15 crates for 5,000 crowns. You can buy four crates for 1,005. That's worth a one-month sub. And you can buy a single crate for 400 crowns. We'll get to crates later. I really want to see what's in them. Now... Below featured is ESO Plus, so the store does direct you and does uh, encourage you to go to a subscription membership, which is called ESO Plus. And it's nice that they put the benefits right here. So as a Plus member, you have full access to DLCs. And these are all the little goodies you get as well. Access to the craft bag. This is quite big if you want to you know, progress your crafting and craft stuff. Uh, you get access to costume and dying and die stations. This is something I don't really like about ESO. In other games, you know, dying is free. It's just that the better dies are locked off or more expensive and stuff. But if you're not a subscriber, you cannot dye your any outfits and stuff. So that's kind of sad. 
Um, you get two times bonus for furnishings and collectible and player housing. This is quite new and because housing only came out last month. And then there's the 10 bonus to everything from gold to research times to inspiration gain and XP gain as well. These aren't really, uh, this doesn't make a huge difference. But, you know, if it means something to you, then by all means, go ahead and get the ESO Plus membership. For some reason, my mouse isn't cooperating very nicely today. I keep moving it around because it gets stuck somewhere in the middle of the screen. Anyway, the third option in the crown store here are crown crates. These are the RNG boxes. So, all right, ESO, along with many other MMORPGs out there, have RNG boxes. Now, I've never bought one. I've never opened one compared to Star Wars The Old Republic, where I did buy a couple because I really wanted some stuff in there. So I don't know what the RNG is like. Um, but what I do know is if there's stuff in here that is pay to win a lot of noise would have been made about the game already but that hasn't happened so let's just go ahead and click on one. Oh no I'm not gonna buy it no 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 I meant I want to see what's inside them so I'm gonna click alt to decline I really want to keep my points how do I see what's in it is it this wild hunt crates uh, apex rewards Oh, okay all right it's starting to come to me now so these these apex legendary epic superior rewards final rewards common rewards this all appear in the crates um apex rewards is only gonna, probably going to be like one in every crate and then everything else that becomes more common you're going to see a lot of so uh this time around it's a wild hunt crate but i'm pretty sure like a month ago it was called something else i want to say it's a storm storm crate or something like that so it's thematic the themes will change uh wild hunt this you know sort of gives me the hint that this is very morrowindy themed because of the warden and everything coming up so let's go ahead and look through this uh wild hunt crate and see what kind of stuff we get so these are mounts very nice looking mounts and remember a uh, crate is going to cost you 400 crowns uh, I don't know what the RNG like, but these do look pretty rare, and they're pretty nice as well. Um, at the bottom here, you'll see 400, and I think that's crown gems, as it says here. Crown gems. We'll get to that in a second. Under legendary, we have um, cosmetics. We've got housing decorations. Uh, a panther mount. Nice. And a baby panther pet. That's really cute. More pets, more pets, more pets. And Wild Hunt Transform. This is something that you can just transform your character into just for cosmetic. Under Epic, we have some character creation options. I don't know what these are. <laughs> Moth Swarm. Okay. Uh, really sexy eyelashes. We have a baby Nash. Oh, God. I hate these things from playing one of the dungeons with it. Some really interesting mounts. More cosmetic. A Moth Breeze. What is this? Ah, it's a costume. That looks really, sorry, ugly. Uh, more costumes. This one just looks... Anyway, we're here to look at any <laughs> dirty stuff. Uh, it's safe to say these are just purely cosmetics from the RNG store. Let's just go on lower and see what else we can find. Uh, oh, man, oh, man. I want this dog. 16 crown gems. Mm -hmm. We have a, a hood. Orcish scout armor. I don't know if I'd wear that. I mean, oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. All right, just it's just more cosmetics here under fine rewards. What else we got? Okay, here we go. So we've got crown crate experience scrolls. You can get experience scrolls in this. You can't really, you know, put this in as pay to win because you can buy the experience scroll, sure, but you still have to put in the work to gain the XP to make it worth your while. It's not like you're buying CP points right off the bat. Uh, we have drink and drinks. We have drinks in here. We've got food and drink. Uh, these are stuff you can craft in game. I don't know if these are better than the best ones you can craft in game, but you can win them from the RNG store. And then there's crown lessons. Um, if you don't know ESO, in ESO you can train your horses every, what is it, 18, 20 hours? Um, to do one of three things you can make them go faster by one percent or you can you know increase your bag slots or increase your what's the other one stamina that's right and if you don't want to wait those hours you can 
buy um, these training lessons on the store um, directly or through crates I believe this isn't really pay to win let's be honest I mean you get a faster horse great what's the advantage unless in PvP you're running away from someone and he gets on a horse and off he goes and you can't catch him we have a repair kit and a crown soul gem so these aren't this is trivial stuff in my opinion and finally on the common rewards we got poison poison potion poison mimic stone these are if you want to craft something but you don't have the motive and you want to you know craft an imperial for example but you can't have the imperial you don't have the imperial motive so you buy a mimic stone what else we got more potions and elixir so the entire crown crates there's nothing in here that's really pay to win um the the writing lessons may be a debatable point especially for pvp i'm not sure but be, besides that it's majority cosmetics and mounts and this this whole crown crate system in the elder scrolls online is a bit more tolerable for me compared to let's say episode one where it is star wars the old republic because crown crates aren't taking up a huge focus in terms of Zenimax's uh, development plans. I mean, they've got Maroon coming up, they've just put up player housing and stuff like that. And, you know, we've got PvP Battlegrounds coming up as well. So there's a whole bunch of MMO stuff, con MMO type content that's coming out. And the store is just something to give players more cosmetic options if they want to buy it. And, you know, in terms of that alone, that's fine. I can understand that even though you know, RNG boxes are not one of my favorite things in MMOs. But here's why I like it. It's because of these crown gems. And what the crown gem system is, basically, if you get a duplicate, let's just say on the common, you get two duplicates or you get a duplicate uh, cosmetic, I think you can meld them down or you can trade them in to get gems. I'm not exactly sure what the ratio is, whether it's one item for one gem or it will depend on uh, how rare the category of the item is whether it's fine or whether it's apex but there is a way uh, for you to gain crown gems if you get duplicates so in other words you could in fact just buy these items right away if you have the gem so you, you don't need to continuously keep on buying RNG packs trying out your luck and gambling with fate to get the item you want and it's because of that system the crown gem system i kind of like it in a way because it doesn't make you suffer in the long run you don't have to continuously waste your money um you know on these items even though some of these items are let's be honest a waste of money um but there's some here that you absolutely want and if you don't want to crank out five thousand crowns every time just start saving up your crown gems and then just buy whatever you want so this is a really nice system it's a convenient system i mean sure it's gonna take you real money to get this in the first place but i still like that the game gives you an option of getting the stuff directly without you know suffering too much i suppose so that's the crown crates the eso crown crates let's move on to dlcs uh, you can buy content directly from the crown store some most of the content here like the dark brotherhood the thieves guild are 2,000 crowns basically and this one's discounted because I think it's the first year anniversary of the Thieves Guild or something like that Dark Brotherhood for 2,000 crowns and this is the gate this is the uh, the bundle I was talking about you can get all four DLCs for like 5,500 crowns not a bad price if you ask me compared to what you can get on Steam on the gold edition for example and yeah so it's nice that they put the content here easy to see now quest starters this is uh, how you start your housing uh, start how you get your housing or your house or your first free apartment in ESO I should say so there's nothing to see here under upgrades what do we have we have an adventurous pack um, what does this do for 1900 crowns you can play in the alliance of your choice no matter your race find bird treasure and mo interesting so the items in this bundle is treasure map a Bantam Guar pet. You have uh, ability to play any race in any alliance. That's kind of cool. I would probably get this just for this itself. But a thousand nine is like fifty four ringgit. If you get the imperial edition, you can also do that. But you have to play an imperial. That's the that's the only catch. You have to play an imperial in any of the three alliances. But this one, you can play anybody anywhere. That's nice. And the rest are all treasure maps. So I was. You know, when I first read Adventure Pack, I thought there was going to be like some items and stuff to get you started, but apparently not, so that's good. 
uh, digital imperial uh, edition upgrade i already bought this this is on steam i think but you can also buy in store because i already have it i don't know how much it's gonna cost but this one you get the imperial race so you can play any of the alliance you get the horse uh, the horse was the the main deal for me when I first bought this game and then the pledge of Mara Which is basically you can get married and you know you and your spouse will earn XP together and stuff like that and the crab which I hate Additional character slots are also a thing you can buy them from the store. It costs a one month sub subscription. That's a thousand five crowns So that's under upgrades. What else we got? We got assistance. So I've been seeing a lot of people you know having these around you can just summon your banker your own personal banker anywhere in the world you can summon a merchant to sell your items and because backspace is a pretty big issue here in ESO it's very easy to run out of backspace especially if you're uh, if you're not a subscriber because you're gonna have to pick up all the crafting mats and you don't have the craft back so your bags are gonna be full so having these are nice but they're really expensive but then again you know it's a really super convenient item so 5,000, I'm not sure if that's fair or not, but if there's other ways to earn it in game, maybe through achievements or if you have the Thieves Guild DLC, I think Thieves Guild, or was it Dark Brotherhood, you could actually get one of these merchants, I can't remember which one, uh, or it was something else. So these are in the stores, completely optional, you don't need this, you can just as easily port back, go back to a way shrine town, go to a bank or go to a merchant. Under inventory, what do we got? bag space upgrade oh okay so what you would usually do is you'd go to a bag space upgrade vendor in town and you'd pay gold which uh, incremental gold so it increases in price every time you upgrade your bag slots or you could buy 10 right out of the store oh so you can buy a total of 80 you can buy a total of 80 slots which is eight times basically for a thousand crowns um, yeah um, honestly you don't need this if you if you can make money in game you can just buy your way all the way to the top you don't need to spend here bank space upgrade probably the same thing only thing you the only difference is you can do this like 18 times for a thousand crowns as well writing lessons we've already gone through this uh, the only difference with the crown ones uh, the ones in the crown store uh, crown crap what is it called crown crates and buying them outright here is that these come in stacks of 10 is that it for a thousand crowns you don't really need this unless you have alls and you really want to upgrade your horses for some reason you can do this in game without spending any crowns or real money just pay in-game gold the only catch is you gotta wait 20 or 18 hours so you don't really need this next we got service tokens uh, you can change your name and race 3500 crowns you can change your appearance for a thousand crowns name change token for two five and race change token so it's nice that they have these options in game completely optional up to you and under skill lines you can become a vampire by, by getting bitten or you can become a werewolf by getting bitten you don't have to spend money on these honestly you could just get a guild mate who has one of these two conditions to just bite you next up we've got utility uh, crown supply crate for 500 crowns. What's in here? Lethal poison, food, experience scrolls, crown repair kit, crown soul jam. I mean, these are. Look, if you're just starting out and. Okay, over here, start a pack for 1,002. So what do you get? You get two repair kits, you get some poison, you get some, some, some food, some experience scrolls, crown soul jam, crown. Uh, you get a horse, okay, so that's nice. The horse is a good addition, and a, and a, and a dog. Look, for 1,200 crowns half of these are obsolete I mean you really don't need them just join a trading guild get your own from crafting buy your own stuff these are really trivial stuff except the horse I mean horses are pretty expensive if you don't have uh, if you haven't been playing long or if you're a new player so 1002 is pretty steep again completely optional you don't need to buy it under the crowns uh, under the what is this experience so you can buy bundles of experience and that is it good to see that there's no champion points purchase or level 50 boost and shit like that so that's really handy uh, you can also respects on the field I suppose again you don't need to do this you can go to any shrine or I can't remember what the place is called but you can do this in game for just gold under supplies you can buy food poison crown repair kit drinks crown okay this entire thing supplies not needed although it's pretty cheap at 400 again not needed everything can be 
uh, gotten in game you can acquire stuff in game no need to spend crowns or real money here so under houses now this is a little bit more controversial from what I understand besides the free apartments all the houses in game cost quite a bit of gold and you can also buy them with crowns um, or more crowns if you want them fully furnished I haven't you know taken a dive into housing yet so I can't really comment but again you don't need to spend the crowns if you have the golden game you can just as well buy a nice house fully furnished if you wanted to and just craft all your decorations and then there's furniture oh five five hundred crowns you're gonna get 26 items 200 you can get just this stuff I don't know if they're gonna change every month or what click R it says bundle details oh so there we go we get to see exactly what the stuff is I really like how the ESO crown store lets you preview almost everything that's really handy so at least I know what the hell I'm buying in one of these packs oh no 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 buying you got plates cups again very nice if you're rich in crown points you don't want to craft any decorations for your brand new house you can buy them it's optional there's bedroom, there's kitchen, there's living rooms. Cool. So that's furniture. Moving on, we've got style parlor. What's here? We got cosmetics. So these are all cosmetics that you can buy. I'm not sure if you can change your appearance. Oh yeah, you, you can change your appearance if you buy this. And all you gotta do is buy the token just to change your appearance. Or you can start an alt and use all your brand new shiny stuff. These are pretty cheap from 200 crowns. There's adornments. There's hair. Oh, that's pretty expensive thousand crowns for hair hmm. what else we got we got markings body markings personalities oh nice so you got emotes in the store uh, ooh, I'm interested in commander but it's 700 crowns I mean completely optional not game breaking at all nothing advantage here is just cosmetic under crafting they sell motifs for 500 crowns bag of tree motives there's a three different races here completely optional again it's like I'm a broken record player I keep saying the same thing but again all this stuff can be gotten in game just find a trader buy it whatever you want exotic styles these are rarer I mean they come from I don't know what dungeons or stealing in end game areas mimic stones okay let's move on wardrobe so cosmetics there's a good amount of you know cosmetic choices here for a decent price wedding outfits and you know alliance based costumes most of them don't go above thousand five from what I've seen in my time leveling up in ESO but I've never really had the urge to buy any of these simply because and I hate to say it a lot of the designs aren't actually what I'm looking for for my character so I just use whatever I earn through you know uh, achievements and stuff so if you're like me and you don't actually find any of these attractive, you don't have to spend money. You really don't. Polymorphs is just something you can just change into and then unequip it to get rid of the look. Okay, finally dies. Guys, this is stupid. You don't need to buy dice from your store, really. In any MMORPG for that matter. If they're selling dice in the store, it's just a minor cash grab. Again, you can earn dice through achievements in games. Just take your time, go through the game, unlock the dice, and just use them that's basically it so under mounts a lot of decent stuff here I mean my favorite has to be under is it special yeah I like the nightmare courser these are pretty ex this is an expensive mount this is like 2,500 crowns uh, but the good thing about buying a mount from the store again is this it's gonna be account wide as I said in my 10 reasons to play ESO account wide you and your alts can use it the only difference is the training will be different for each character so right now uh, on my main for example I'm like 30% uh, for everything right I've got bag uh, riding speed and uh, stamina so if I buy a new horse from the store it's gonna have the exact same riding stats but on an alt I'm gonna have to start from scratch so that's that and finally we have com non combat pets which are just your cosmetic pets and stuff and really that is it in the ESO store that is really it so it's kinda surprising in a way to see that you know modern MMOs can actually have a decent store that while most of the stuff are convenience uh, based items and services 
they're not exactly needed. It's optional. You don't have to spend money in here if you don't want to. And going back to crown crates, I love this system of, you know, if you really want to buy a crown crate and try a luck with the RNG system, then there's a way for you to earn back some gems if you get duplicates. If you keep getting the same shit all over again, there's a way for you to actually make some back so you can buy something that you want from the store. There's not a lot of MMOs out there that does this. I know the Secret World does this too with their lucky coin system or something like that where you can just go to the vendor and buy something from the RNG box. So that's really nice. I can't really, you know, say anything against it because it's giving more power to the player in my opinion, but you do have to invest your money if you want some of this stuff in here. And my thoughts about the stuff in these packs are decent cosmetic, especially the mounts, but everything in here is just meh. So, nah. Other than that, there's no restrictions or unlocks. There's no, you know, unlocking extra bars. There's no buy a brand new sword. There's no buy CP points that gets you up to level 50 with a boost. Nothing at all. I can't really say... I can't... You know, I really can't shit on ESO's Crown Store. Because it's kind of clean. It really is. So I suppose let's just get to our store cleanliness rating. I am going to give the Elder Scrolls Online a cleanliness rating of A. A. A, A, A. Because it's just super... It's super clean. I can't fault it for selling cosmetics and convenience. I really can't. And having the DLCs as well that goes on sale and you can buy discounted content for 1005 which is like a month sub. Well, I guess kudos to the Elder Scrolls Online. Keep it up. Um, but until until then, I don't know what the future brings or you know what if the crown crates are going to change in the future. But for now, really good to see an MMO that you know treats its players with respect uh, in terms of not having an obnoxious and obtrusive store that gets in your face and forces you in there just to make money. So well done, the Elder Scrolls Online. And that's it for this second episode of MMO Store Raiders. In the next episode, we'll go to a game that's been around for 10 years now. And we'll see what the store is like for a 10-year-old MMO. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode of MMO Store Raiders. If you like the content I'm putting out here on my channel, or if you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more MMO content. Once again, my name is GRM Adrian, and I thank you for watching. Hey there, I'm Batman. You reach the end screen of this video. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click the button in the middle. If you want to watch more videos, click the cards to the left or to the right. Now where's my Robin?